Hi, my name is Thomas Gustafsson and I'm the Chief PKI Officer at Key Factor. And today I'm going to run through a short video tutorial on how to install the DBCA community container. You could say it's a really, really quick start. We will start with a fresh Ubuntu 22.04 LTS Linux system. We will install the Docker runtime, pull the latest EDBCA community container, start it up as an ephemeral instance, more about that later, and end up accessing the EDBCA administration UI. So let's get started. On Docker Hub, under key factor edbca-c there is uh, the docker image for edbca community it has a page with uh, full documentation on what to do and how to install things with many different options but today we're going to do a uh, really quick install which means that we'll uh, pull the docker container and start it but of course before we can pull it uh, we have to install docker and that is done by a simple command in Ubuntu called sudo snap install docker. We'll wait for that to run to install. And uh, after that, we're ready to uh, get going. Okay, let's uh, pull the image. Copy this command sudo docker pull key factor edbca ce. So it downloads it. Now we're running uh, Docker requiring sudo. So that is the absolute fastest and simplest way to do things. Uh, you can run doc Docker not requiring sudo privileges, but that's an exercise that we leave up to you, the viewer, to configure. Okay, that's done. So now we uh, go on to installing the absolute quickest and fastest way to get going on a very non-intrusive way which i'll explain a little more uh, later that's the quick start ephemeral test instance as you can see in the documentation on docker hub so i will copy this command i'll paste it with sudo into my console since this is a pure local install i will set the host name to localhost and then uh, run Notice that TLS setup enabled equals simple there, which well, I'll talk about while this command is running. So now it will start up EDBCA, it will start the application server, it will generate uh, server-side TLS certificates for this instance. So nothing pre-installed, so to say. This will be a, a pure from the scratch installation. And uh, this is a really, really fast and simple way to try out EDBCA or if you are familiar with EDBCA and running it in your organization when you want to test something new uh, or try out the latest version you spin it up like this do your test and shut it down I use it all the time myself to try things uh, because my local development installation is you could say tainted with a lot of different configurations so when I, when I want a fresh uh, system without too much messy configuration I'll do this and uh, I mentioned that I will run it as an ephemeral instance. That means that I I, in the Docker command, I, I used the parameters to run it uh, to remove it when terminated. So now it installs things, it has a database, it creates things. But after when I'm done, I hit Control C and it will be all removed. So nothing left on your system and you can next time you run the same command it stores it starts as fresh as ever in uh, the documentation on docker hub there are also other configuration options of course you can run it persistent long term with more production like settings and have uh, uh, an external uh, database and and things like that so all that is documented in uh, the documentation at docker hub so now it's done and it uh, gives me a URL in the bottom which I can open to access my EGBCA. I copy this link, I go back to my Firefox, I copy it and I start it. So this is a total private installation. It doesn't have a publicly trusted TLS server certificate but a self-generated. 
So that means I have to accept the risk and continue. But I know it's it's uh, a safe system, right? So and here we are, my uh, fresh EDBCA installation. And here now I can look at crypto tokens. I can create new crypto tokens and generate keys. I can create new certification authorities, configure pro profiles and everything that you can do with EDBCA, which is quite a lot. But how to do that? That's left for another tutorial. So up and running. So there are some resources, of course, on the web. There's the EGBCA community website at egbca.org. There is the uh, Docker Hub page that I just showed you and ran the, the uh, commands from. EGBCA have plenty of documentation at doc.primekey.com slash EGBCA where you can uh, find information how to do things uh, when you're, while you're actually up and running. And there's also an enterprise version for those of you who need uh, support and SLA which you can get from keyfactor.com. So, thank you for watching.